right now we're at our next stage, which is uh, Matrix's stage. And right off the bat, we get a cool kick-ass theme. Awesome. Yeah, so this stage, uh, there's two halves to it. And right off the bat, I really hate the first half right here because these uh, those because the fire shaves off a good chunk of health. I believe they take like anywhere from 15 to 20 percent of your health, and that's with armor on. Yeah, so right off the bat, I mean, really, another Fire Maverick. Yeah, I did some research. To, uh, the X-Series has a grand total of seven Fire Mavericks. X-3 is the only one where you don't have a Fire Maverick. Like, I kept saying, like, do they really have a fascination with Fire Mavericks? Like, why? Yeah, but Matrix is unique. And that, yeah, so, the first half of the stage, we have an annoying pain in the ass gimmick. Instant death. Fire! The only way to avoid them? Stand on the shadows. That's it. Let it rinse repeat. And it's boring. I mean, it's not as bad as Stuff McWhalen because it's not an auto scroller. Oh man, that would be even worse if it was an auto scroller. Well, you have to do that. Yeah, so you just gotta wait in the uh, wall cling right here and just wait for the fire to destroy the, that wall right there. And then you can just proceed through the rest of the stage. Yeah, there, no, there really are no threats in this stage right now. I mean, you're going to have a, a few small enemies right here, but uh, they're not going to be a big issue. Yeah, the music's kick-ass, at least. Yeah, the good thing about the uh, Mega Man games in general is, like, when you have a stage that's too long or has an annoying gimmick, at least they have some nice kick-ass music. Whether it be a water level, a fire level, any, any level that has basically, you know, have stall gimmicks. Like, you have to wait here until a certain thing happens things like that I do like that touch all right and I hate it when Ayla interrupts me like that I at one point I was at one point in one of my test playthroughs I was about to duck down and Ayla interrupted me and the lava hit me causing me to die all right now we got the second half of the stage and we have two paths to choose from and I unfortunately picked the bottom path twice, and I died twice, because if you're in the right armor, uh, you're invincible while you're in the right armor when you're in the lava. Unfortunately, I died twice because I tried to get out of the right armor uh, to get to the Dr. Light cap, so unfortunately my timing was terrible, and another time the right armor just took too many shots from the enemies underneath me, and it just uh, got destroyed. So I said, screw it, we'll take the top path, we have the Falcon armor, we'll be fine. Uh, the top path is safer, uh, if you have the falcon armor. Yeah, you have this mini boss you have to fight. Not too difficult. As both X are zero. And time stopper doesn't work against this damn thing. I don't know what I was thinking, but oh well. Alright, now we're gonna use the elect beam. It's basically the elect beam from X1. I mean, not X1, Mega Man 1. Yeah, I just stick the Buster. Like I said, in the later X games, I just like sticking to the Buster only. It's really reliable. I mean, I'm not saying the, game, the weapons in this game are terrible. It's just that I really don't use them that much. Not even against the bosses. I mean, I like doing Buster only runs. It's really, it's really uh, challenging. Yeah. And since I'm using the Falcon armor, you know, I don't have the luxury of using a Giga, uh, using the, uh, the Giga attack, you know, the Nova Strike, so I have to be really precise when it comes to, you know, uh, strategies for bosses and things like that. And I can fly. And the Dr. Light capsule is actually right there to the far, uh, below the right. I forgot to get it because I was just, uh, frustrated after those two deaths right there. Oh, well. Alright, I'll stick on Matrix himself. Yeah, so the volcano, uh, the gimmick was cool, man. You had a volcano gimmick, at least for the second half. Which is nice. Ah, T-Rex. Nice. Alright, Matrix, let's do this. And I'm gonna say one thing right now. Uh, now, is it just me, or does X with the Falcon armor, with the wing spiral color scheme, does it, it doesn't X kind of look like Winoma? The gym leader, uh, the Pokemon gym leader from Pokemon uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. 
because X kind of looks like her. Uh, she's a female gym leader who specializes in flying types. Go figure, this is the Falcon armor. Because it wouldn't surprise me if, uh, you know, if Game Freak got the idea uh, uh, for her uh, from this uh, from this game. I mean, they copied, you know, certain Mavericks to look like certain Pokemon in the past. I've seen it before. But still, that's a cool color scheme for X. Other than that, uh, yeah, Matrix is dead. Not, not too difficult. All right, later. All right, we are back, and now we're entering our final stage of the game. We are taking on Axel the Red. Well, if you didn't know already, Axel the Red was named after Axel Rose. All right. Yeah, so right off the bat, uh, we got a really cool, uh, unique uh, background. And this stage, uh, I really love the music in this stage. Like, the atmosphere of the stage is really awesome. It's the perfect theme uh, fit for uh, the Maverick we're fighting. And with the Falcon armor, this stage is basically a cakewalk. Alright, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I stayed silent. Uh, I was really uh, Yeah, I was quiet there because I love that part of the song. You know, when it gets to that part when it when it plays the harp, it just sounds so relaxing, so soothing. I wanted you, you got, uh, I wanted you to listen to it. You know, that's why I, you know, I didn't talk for for like the full 25 seconds or whatever. But I just love that part of the music. Like this stage right here, I love the music. The gimmick is, eh, the gimmick's cool. It's not a pain in the ass like a uh, split mushroom stage. I hated the stage in split mushroom stage. Like I said, I had those two cheap deaths right there. I really didn't like the music in uh, Split Mushroom stage. And right here we gotta get the uh, last uh, Gaia armor piece. You need Falcon armor in order to get it. Go figure. Alright. Like seriously, who, who puts a capsule right there? Like who's to imply that er who's to imply that, you know, X and Zero are not the only robots that are impervious to spikes? Yeah, like I said, I really love, you know, this part of the theme when it, you know, plays the harp. And I died. Yeah, I forgot to hold up on the D-pad. Oh, that was my fault. Yeah, so this theme's really relaxing. Yeah, I know, this is the final Maverick we're taking on too, so... Yeah. It's just really cool. Yeah, again, like I said... Uh, yeah, like I said, again, I, mean, I really love the music, you know, I'm gonna keep saying that for every theme I, I, I truly like. Like in one of my Sonic Dash videos, uh, I did use this theme, so, uh, because it's so relaxing. Alright, so right off the bat, you know, the gimmick's not really too difficult, just a couple of annoying plant enemies, not too difficult. And we're already at the boss. And the boss is easy to take down if you have his weakness, which is, uh, the fire attack. Which, which makes sense, he's a plant, he should be weak to fire. Yeah, and Axel the Rose has a really cool design. Yeah, alright. Yeah, this fight can, uh, can be kind of difficult if you don't know what you're doing, because he, uh, he does have almost like a copy vision ability, so he's going to summon another uh, clone of himself. And some of his attacks get really annoying, like he does a, a, a whip attack, like if he grabs you, uh, he drains some of your health. It's kind of like a rap attack, so it really hurts. I'm trying not to get caught in that. Other than that, he just launches uh, the spike ball, which doesn't do that take that much damage. I'm trying to use his weakness, but I said, nah, I'll just stick to Buster. Yeah, like that attack right there. Don't get caught in that rap attack, because it takes a lot of damage, and I believe it stun locks you for like five or six seconds. Yeah, like I said, I don't have the luxury of a of a, of a Nova Strike right now. But I do have this Giga Attack, so it's it's useful. Like I said, I want to give these bosses a fair fight at least, because X5 is my favorite game in the X series. So I want to give at least these uh, these bosses a fair fight. All right, that's all eight Mavericks. Let's see if the space shuttle's gonna succeed or not. Well, I guess we'll find out uh, in the next part. All right, later.